So these are the stunning images from the James Webb Space Telescope, currently in space one million miles away from Earth and surpasses the power of the aging Hubble telescope. But such pictures are reminding us that we are mere specks in the universe. Where did we come from and how? Scientists hope these images will tell us. The exquisite resolution was, was the first thing that impressed me. And, you know, something I knew was coming, but then to just to actually see it is, of course, awe-inspiring. Thomas Quinn heads the astronomy department at UW. He and faculty members watched intently Tuesday morning as NASA revealed a second round of images from a space telescope currently in orbit one million miles away from Earth and sending pictures that have captivated the world. The fascination you see from the general public about beauty, about discovery, I think that that's part of what makes us humans. The James Webb Space Telescope, referred to as a JWST, launched from South America in December. The pictures from the mirror telescope hardly seem real, and the first deep field image that arrived on Monday stunned Quinn. To you, they're just faint smudges, but you recognize that these tiny smudges are actually galaxies out at essentially at the dawn of time. The JWST is larger and more powerful than the Hubble telescope, providing the clearest images we've seen thus far. Using near-infrared technology, the telescope peers not into the present nor the future, but the past. Because of the finite speed of light, it take, light takes some time to get from the object to us, we are actually looking back in the past. We're not seeing the object as, as it is. Today, we're seeing as it was when the universe was very much younger. Galaxies that formed as far as 13 billion years ago. This image showing Stefan's quintet may teach us how our own galaxy, the Milky Way, came to be. So if you think of the Milky Way as like this fried egg, this dance is scrambled eggs. That allows us to sort of explore what's going on. What, you know, how are these galaxies put together? And going back to those scrambled eggs that Quinn referred to, scientists are observing a black hole on one of these blobs. UW astronomers will be studying that. Quinn's work includes generating computer simulations of those smudges that are galaxies. Back to you.